Welcome back everyone to the BD1P random character streak. Today is going to be run number 165. We are just five wins away from win 169, the biggest milestone of any streak ever. And as I said yesterday, uh, from now on on this streak, the questions of the day are going to be put forward by the comments. I'm going to ask your questions and then you guys are going to answer those questions. And when you answer a question, just leave a question as well so I can keep feeding that, you know, cyclical nature of just wanting to keep asking shit and knowing more things knowledge is power right but today's question comes from nash vanilla a longtime viewer and modder for uh, me in this channel and nash asks us do we value a more materialistic lifestyle or do we value more like leaving a memory of yourself when you pass and this is a very interesting question i promise not to get too like deep with it i can do a cane run sure I promise not to get, like, too deep with it. Seed, by the way, is going to be L8ABBRWA. Um, because it doesn't need to get super deep here. Um, it, it's, it's actually, it's a pretty simple answer for myself. Please open that. Yeah, we got a key and a penny. Cool. It's not a very, like, complex question for me. Uh, I really do not, like, I, I do not put any value in material value. And, uh, and everybody says that, right? But if I took away my green screen right now, all I have in this apartment, like for myself, is a TV, a coffee table, and a couch. For the first six months that I've lived alone, I did not even buy a fucking mattress. I was on the floor. I just didn't feel like buying a mattress. I didn't see the point in it because I, I can live without it. I, I do not see value in materialistic things. And to put that even further, I think that... Not everybody. Like some people do have value with materialistic objects. Some people do like the idea of owning a lot of things just to own things and that's fine i'm not gonna knock your lifestyle at all but while not everybody you know agrees with that same sentiment um i think every human uh you know naturally has this drive to want to leave something behind when they pass and i'm not i don't think i'm stepping a boundary saying that i genuinely think that everybody everybody in the world like has a desire to leave something behind when they pass reason for that being is that's just part of living like one of the the greatest fear of everybody on the earth is 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 passing away and this is the closest thing we'll ever have to like an eternal life is i think not being forgotten so everybody has an intrinsic drive i think to leave some kind of lasting impact on either a small scale to one person or a large scale like a million people and that's part of the reason I think that, you know, a lot of creators do content as their job because as, as I don't really find, like, comfort or solace in content. I'm not the kind of guy who's, like, you know, watching YouTube save my life or something like that. And there's no harm if you are. I just don't agree with that. Look at all these flies. Holy shit. Must be the Dukes happen, uh, having there. But I don't really see a point in that. Like, I, I don't think that... YouTube hasn't done anything negative or positive for my mental health, like, ever. Aside from, you know, doing my own videos, it's probably been more negative than helpful, but that's for a different video. Um, but I think a lot of the reason that people do content is because a lot of viewers, like, it's a good distraction from the real world for them. Like, think, for example, you know, people who watch, you know, let's say, like, we'll put an example here. Like, there are plenty of viewers, and I, I've had the same, oh, you're, you're, you're shitting on me. That could be a bad trip, so I can't take any of those. No! The pill went out right there. Are you kidding me? I could have died right there, dude. Scary. But I've gotten comments that are like, BD1P, your videos help me a lot get through my day. And that, that's wonderful. I'm glad I can help you in that regard. Um, and I've gotten, like, you know, tons of comments like that in the past that prove that, you know, content does have positive effects on the viewers who watch it. People will, you know mimic your personality people will that was a little bit close people will you know take your conversation points into the real life friend groups and like talk about it there and it does leave an impact and that's that's the fun thing about content for me is that i'm not just making content for myself it's other people are enjoying it and and i've inspired people to do their own i've, I've heard so that, that's very nice and I'm, I'm very happy about that but uh i am not one of those people who like YouTube videos have a lasting 
impact on. I'm not taking that. You can you can screw right off with that one. So it, it's very interesting to see that there are people out there who do watch these videos or other videos and take away a lot from them. And that's what I like about YouTube is that on even the smallest scale, I am still having an impact and it is kind of fulfilling that intrinsic value, like need that I think everybody has to leave something behind. Like I used to work at a daycare and it's, it's the same, it's the same exact mindset, right? Where yeah, kids can be little demons and they can be really freaking annoying. Yeah, trust me. I know I worked with them. They're my coworkers technically. Um, I'll do it. Yo, our no more Arky for us, but still we can pop this anywhere we want now. And we get a health up pill. And a shot speed up? Dude. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Chaos as your first, one of your first items is going to be insane for this run. But, uh, like, part of the, the great thing about working with kids is that if you work with them long enough, you see them grow up. You see these kids grow up and, like, you know that you had a part in that and that part of the reason they are where they are today is because you were in their life. And that's a very gratifying feeling. And that goes along with, as humans, we want to leave something behind. I think it's very shallow of somebody to say they don't want to leave something behind. And I would even go as far as to say, if you aren't trying to leave some kind of positive, lasting impact on either the world or the people in it, it's a little bit selfish. It's the same thing as, like, the Spider-Man debate, right? Like, just because you have the power to help somebody, does that mean you are responsible when somebody you could have helped gets hurt? And it's hard to answer that, because there are cases where, yes, if you could have stopped somebody from doing something that got them hurt. That's our first item, really? That's our f second item? Okay, really? Um, th there is, like, a case to be made to, to tell yourself, like, somebody probably got hurt because you didn't help them. Sure, but you're not responsible for everybody else's actions, you know? It it's very... Close-minded. bomb. What the hell? Can you imagine that with this? What's in here? Good. Good. Ah. Uh. Oh, there is a soul heart in here. Thank you. Can we... Okay, what kind of shopkeeper is hanging in here? I'm going for gold, boys. We did gain more than five cents. It would have been one cent off had I not bought that shot speed up pill. But we still could not have afforded it, huh? Whatever. I mean, almond milk is good enough on its own, I guess. I'm not touching you. You can F right off. You killed my stream streak very early on. You killed my stream streak very early on. But, like, I, I, it's a very hard question to answer. Like, because it, it, it's what Uncle Ben told Mr. Parker. He was like, with great power, Peter, comes great responsibility. I don't know why he was, like, you know, Roz from Monsters, Inc. there. Mike Wazowski, you forgot to turn your paperwork in. He, he was like that for a minute. But you, you get the point. He was dying. He sounded really rash. Uh, but... Ah, uh, also no. There is definitely, like, you have to, to, to realize that... If you are able to help somebody and you choose not to, I think you are at partial fault. Because, again, it's not your direct responsibility to always be helping people. But turning down helping someone is a really coy thing to do, I feel like. If I'm using the word coy right there. I don't know if I am. It, it just it felt right to say, you know. I'm not, I'm not a linguistic, you know, analyzer or any shit like that. But... I don't know. I, I think that if you're if you're actively not trying to at least do like one good thing for people occasionally, you are doing yourself and the overall general populace a disservice. Everybody has the ability to help somebody. And I guess to put it in perspective, like the conversation should not be like, you know, is this one person responsible for things going wrong? The conversation should probably be uh, more like we as a po like as a as a you know a, a, a human species should be helping everyone we can like think for example like let's let's do let's do a hypothetical here you are an olympic athlete you know like a track gold medalist walking down the street 
and you see that there is a house on fire and that there is like a, you know, someone stuck inside. You, just because you are an Olympic athlete does not make you any more responsible than, you know, Jim from the accounting business uh, for going into that building and helping that person out. I think that you both uh, have a intrinsic hum hum human responsibility to do your utmost to help that person. Not the athlete because the athlete is more physically fit. Both of you because you should just be helping people, I guess, um, is, is the best way to phrase that there. And I could be wrong, but I think that what I said makes uh, at least some sense there. Just because it's hard to see somebody who needs help and not help them. If you like, it's just like if, if you see somebody who's asking for money because they're homeless, throw them a five. You know, like it, it's not gonna kill you. I, I think that another thing is too is money is money is a material value. Money is used to buy material values, which means money definitely falls in the category of it is one of the material things that we are guilty of wanting, and it, it's greed. It's one. It's one of you know uh, our Lord and Savior's said it's like seven deadly sins or whatever. But money is also, like, associated directly nowadays with overall well-being and happiness, which, whether that's capitalism's fault, whether that's uh, everyone's fault for just putting so much value into it, it, it is now kind of widely believed that you cannot be happy without having money. And I think that's kind of fucked up, you know. I'm sure I'm not saying anything profound here, but that's a little bit fucked up. We'll just move on. I don't want to deal with shit right now. Uh, and I, I used to be kind of a greedy kid. Uh, when I was working at my factory job, I would refuse to spend any money because I wanted to see my, my bank account go up. And I've since kind of realized that it's not that big of a deal if it dips or goes. As long as I'm able to, you know, pay rent and pay for food, it's not that big of a deal if it goes down or up that much. And I, I think that when I realized that money really is not as important as everyone makes it out to be, once I kind of fully realized that, I became a lot more of a happier individual, uh, for sure. Ooh, nice Gimpy. I'll pay you one forward there for that. That's, that's your half heart payment right there. Give you a little kiss as well. I'll give you a little... There you go. And we got more money out of that too. Um, I, I don't know how to properly word this, but... Like, money, money is not a bad thing to want because money is what makes, you know... I miss that. I, I literally fucking miss that. Ah, nothing new here. Nothing new here. Blood bag. Fuck. I'm gonna definitely ha take your soul because your soul is uh, one free devil deal per floor. And because they're chaos deals, it's just having one free extra item at the end of each floor and not having to worry about going for angel deals or not. But I, I, I think that like out of the, all the material value a human can want, money is the most admissible just because like money buys you everything. Like there's the whole thing of like money can't buy happiness, but it kind of can though. Money can't buy happiness, but it can, it can help you be happier because a lot of times sadness comes from not having enough money to do what you want to do or to have what you want to have. So in that kind of regard, yeah, money does buy happiness and it's our fault for making it that way for sure. Uh, and I, I think that I, I'm humbled, right? Not to jerk myself off here uh, for my ego, but I, I have been humbled. I used to work, you know, when I was in high school, I made quite a bit of money. Not because I was a smart spender, because I, because I just didn't spend it all, uh, but because my job that I had was like an adult man's job and I was still living at home. Now, so I wasn't paying rent or paying for groceries, you know, back in high school, obviously. No one should be as long as their parents are providing for them. And um, I was just making like an, an adult male's wage and not spending any of that money. And that kind of made me like, you know, take my self-worth almost by how much money I had saved up. I'm playing like hot shit because almond milk is all that we have right now. I want more. I want it all and I want it now. Bam. That's a queen song for you. Uh, but... It made me tie kind of my own self-value to how much money I wouldn't spend. Like, I, I would literally only buy, like, food once a month when I, went out, when I went out with, like, a friend from high school. 
And that was pretty much it. Oh, that's the HP I was looking for, baby. Black Lotus is amazing. Perks. Do this. Let's test out skin and see. We get we get a hive mind forever alone. Actually, not that bad. Actually, not that bad at. Let's go back and grab your soul as well. I don't want to forget this on accident. But I wouldn't spend any money at all. I was not a big spender. And um because I kept seeing my money go up, whenever it would go down, I would get like severely upset at myself for letting it go to that point. So I, I would just not spend money because I wanted to keep my money looking good. Which I think overall, like it, it definitely it definitely hurt uh, my mental state just a little bit. Just a tiny bit because I, was, I, I tied my worth and my money. Once I quit that job and uh, I started doing college, you know, out of state by being in Chicago, I was kind of like, I didn't have a job aside from like just streaming occasionally at all because I had so much money that I wanted to just like, you know, relax for a bit. But once I started to realize like, man, things are really not like super expensive and that I could live off of like potentially one grand a month. I was kind of like, holy shit, why do I tie so much of my own value to money? Because right now, I, I don't really think that talking about your money as a creator is a bad thing to do. But this whole stigma around, like, you shouldn't say what you what you make because it's kind of unprofessional. Why? I don't get why that's a thing. I don't understand that. I don't see it unprofessional at all. I'm not, and I'm, I'm not going to brag because my I don't make a lot of money. But I, I make two grand a month, and I break almost exactly even every single month. And that's great. I think that I would rather be making... Um, like breaking even every month than making so much over that when I spend money, I feel bad. Because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty happy guy right now. I'll be real with you. I'm a pretty happy dude. I think that uh, I, I've definitely grown from being someone who was scared to spend money to someone who is comfortable with that now. And I, I, like, I like the point that I'm at. I like the point that I'm at right now. And I don't want to change that, you know? Whether it dips or goes any higher, I... I this is like the perfect place for me to be, I think. Now, obviously, everybody wants to make more money. Because then they can do more things. But I don't want to make as much more to the point where I'm like making a profit of like four grand a month. And I'm just kind of like, don't spend it because I'm scared to spend it. Interesting. We do gain HP by doing this. So, like, why not? Scatter bombs is fine. It's more bombs for us. We'll touch this to make sure we have touched it, and we'll move on. So far, Chaos Magic Skin has not done an insane amount of stuff for us, but it should do enough. It should do enough by the end of the run here. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, really satisfied with my life right now, and I don't want to do anything to kind of, like, mess up that, that perfect balance I have going on. But then again, everybody does want money, but I just want to make a lot of money to the point where I'm, like... Shit, I, I don't want to spend it now because I'm going to, like, feel bad for my number going back down to what it was before. I, mean, it's a, I, I was just, I think I, the problem is, when I was learning about PFL and just finance in general, I, I'm glad I was raised money cautious for sure, because I'd rather be a safe spender than a non-safe spender. No shit. But I think the issue for me became that I, I'm, a, I'm too cautious of a spender. I, I don't buy things for myself ever. The last thing I bought, I remember like actually buying for myself like, and, and not like for my house or just for like, you know, everyone to like have. I, I don't even know what it was. I can't even tell you what it was because I don't know what I would have bought. I, I did buy, um, I don't, I don't even know. I, I, I can't even tell you. I just don't spend money on myself because I see it as bad to spend money. And I still can't break that habit. You, you just pop skin whenever you feel like it at this point, dude. It just gives you random items anyways, right? Doesn't matter where you do it. Only when you have rad hearts, though. Nothing else. Oh, does your soul disappear after one deal? I thought it said... Oh, my God. Nice. I thought it stayed with you for a longer time than that. Okay. I, I just don't know all the, the, the repentance trinkets by heart. I'm sorry, guys. Leave me alone because of that. But, you know, I, I just... I think that I was raised too safe of a spender. And now spending money makes on myself makes me feel really bad. I guess I bought pizza yesterday. But I'm thinking more of like an actual material thing. It's not just like, hey, I bought food for myself. I'm thinking like, what was the last object I bought for myself? I have to buy new earbuds soon because my earbuds are shitting out on me. My Raycons are, are 
dying after like three years of owning them though so very very good ownership i just haven't uh i haven't well, i guess i've owned two pairs no i've only owned one pair of raycons but i've had them for about three years so they, they've done some really good fucking work for me love my raycons i i will this is not sponsored by the way but you should definitely buy raycons if you want to buy some like higher quality cheaper end um price wise of, of wireless earbuds raycons are actually good take it from me the, the, the audiophile who uses wireless earbuds, which is not a, a good statement, by the way. Uh, it's they, They're fine. They're fine. They're great for exercising, going on runs and stuff. But I, I have to buy new earbuds soon, I guess, is like the next thing I'll have to buy for myself. Um, but then again, like, not that big of a deal. It's just buying earbuds. But I, I don't know what I last bought for myself that wasn't, you know, food or like a necessity. I, I just see spending money on myself as bad. Oh, good. Dodges, nice. We need something here. Tear effects or damage. Because I, I love almond milk. I always take almond milk. But this has been one of the cases where it has not paid off. We took it too early without any other thing to back it up. And I am feeling that mode right now. But I, I do need to get more because I, I have an, enough money to live off of for... I didn't even see the pit right here. Am I colorblind? Jesus Christ, it's so, like, prominent. I didn't even see it. We should, we should probably stop popping. Magic skin. So goddamn often. That was a good dodge, by the way. I was actually focused there for once. Chaos, be good. It was good. Don't get me wrong. Yep, that is, uh, that is, that is that for you, I guess. The problem is we can't even drop magic skin because we will just get it back the next, like, time we need an item, which makes me a little bit sad. Do it again. Ah, damn it, dude. We're getting really good, like, utility-based things, but not enough, like, raw stats. And now we're at six broken hearts. Um, this is not good. Why is Chaos not giving me anything that I want? I, I own, I earned this. Oh, that's good. That's huge, actually. I'll buy this, too. Now I feel a little bit safer. I feel quite a bit safer, actually. Like, we have a, a really good amount of items here. Justice. We have a really good amount of items here. But, uh, only, like, zero of them are DPS. Keep bombing. That's okay, honestly. I'm fine with that. But yeah, I'll, I'll get over that initial, like, just fear of spending a big purchase. I mean, I did buy a TV. But again, that wasn't for myself. That was just for, like, me and my girlfriend and my girlfriend's brother when he was here. To have, like, a, just... just we, we needed a new one as well. Like, we had a $60, like... It was smaller than my fucking monitor was. We normally use my monitor for a TV when we were using a TV. So I was, we kind of just need to get a TV. Because if we don't get one now... We're just wasting our time. There's one guppy part. You have to take bad PhD. You have to. Because you need the DPS, and it also does give you health back. So we'll do that. Um, Secret room, maybe, for an item. Or health, even, I would like. Anything in that same vein. It can't be there. Probably right here, honestly. Not. Uh, is it up here? I guess it could be right here, huh? Oh, hey, we did find it there. Cool. All right, well. Ow, jackass. My fly does more damage than I do. Both of them actually do. Homing shots? Thank you. It's good money. It's good money for sure. I'm a little scared. The run, the run is uh, we have half broken hearts and only three hearts. Granted, we have thrown a lot of that HP away due to just us being bad players and using magic skin too much, but I don't know. I feel good about it still. I like it. I think we're in an okay place to be honest with you. As scary as it looks, I think we're doing a okay. A okay. Elf. <laughs> 
the money's nice. I would have played you if I had the red hearts to play out more. I would have given like at least like two. All right, all right. Head on down. Head on down. But I, I don't think I'll ever even become a materialistic um, person. I don't think I have it in me to do that. Okay, good. Good gimpy drop at least there. That was a rough place to be. I, I fucked up my own there. Tell me. Tell me. It wasn't there? I thought, though. I like, literally thought it. Why am I not always right? I should be. I'm the greatest player alive, as we all know. Duh. Right? I don't think I have it in me to be a material person. Because I've, I've lived my whole entire life not having or wanting a lot. I, basically, what I'm trying to tell you guys is that I'm, I'm Jesus Christ, what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, to, to jack off my own ego some more here. But no, I, I, I haven't lived my life, you know, wanting anything or needing anything. And I think that uh, you kind of, to be a materialistic individual, I feel like you need to be predisposed to it almost. Like, you have to, as a kid, either, you know, I don't want to say be spoiled, that puts it to negative word spoiled, but I, you do have to be like, you know, you do have to be kind of like spoiled. That's amazing. To, to, or Beelzebub as well, sick. To kind of be predisposed to the lifestyle, I feel like almost of um, of material materialism, if that makes sense, or like you have to be insanely rich and like gone through your midlife crisis just buying a bunch of stuff for no reason. Even though, uh, as psychologists and my psychology professor in college confirmed, midlife crises are not actually real. And nobody knows where the term came from or why it's so popular because they are, in fact, not real things. So the next time one of your friends is like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry I, you know, uh, like, ate your chorizo last night. I'm going through a midlife crisis. They're fucking lying to you. They're lying to you. Now, there is a weird phenomenon, though. They have confirmed that around the age of, like, 50, if men, like, go through a divorce or, like, you know, a troubling time, They'll often just like go through the motions of what everyone considers to be a midlife crisis, like buying fancy. Ooh, two parts guppy. Like buying fancy cars and shit like that, which I think is pretty funny. Uh, that a lot of the time, the male species uh, is too like insecure about their own like grand standing that they have to you know show how okay they are by just buying a bunch of fancy shit. I find that to be kind of funny because the whole stigma is that like. Women are the ones who need to have all these heels and shoes and dresses when it's like usually actually men who really, you know, need to have those material wants. Like, I'm never going to be a car person either. Speaking of cars, I do not know shit about cars and I don't really care to know anything about cars. It'd be nice to know stuff, but I don't have the time to put into it. And that's Pyromaniac. Or just regular Pyro. My bad, guys. Oops. Is there a, a secret room? I mean, Pyro Cluster Bombs is not really what I... Th oh... Thought I'd be seeing on today's run. I'd like to get Skatol here. Because if we can get some pedestals, we, uh, I could magic skin. I could. If I get enough HP, I wouldn't mind. Where Where is my Skatol, Mr. Guy? No! I saved your goddamn life. Give me Skatol. He, he, he deserved that one. He deserved that one. What about you, buddy? What about you? You got anything for me? You see your friend over there? He treated me very poorly. Don't make the same mistake. You're on thin ice, my man. You're on thin ice. Bombs are getting awfully close to you. Sorry, buddy. Just the way it happens. Just the way it happens. Well, that man died. Not my fault, though. Uh, I, I was trying to bomb for quarter in there. If I could, like, you know, have a pedestal down. But the, the scatter bombs just so, oh so tragically reached our man. I don't really care too much. If we get a red heart, I'll definitely uh, pop it. And we'll roll for some chaos pedestals in there. But I don't see a big reason to right now. We're already Beelzebub. We don't even need Skatol. Uh, I'm just going to live live this run out as far as I can. Three hearts is scary, I'll admit. Three hearts is a little bit scary. We do have Psy Fly, though. And a high damaging Fly Orbital for extra DPS, so... Take that as you will. 
spot. We'll look for... There's this. That could be helpful. I, I might want to actually pop it. It'll only take two hearts away. We'll be at two HP, which... I don't know. That's still a very terrifying thought. That's still a very terrifying thought. Being two hits away from dying at any point in this run. That's like playing as a loss without Holy Mantle insurance. Like, this is... This is watch out. Is going to be a bit of a trickier one. If we get the wafer or cancer, uh, I would definitely do it. But I don't see that happening. I don't... Yeah, it's not... We already saw our item room. And I can't think of another way we'd see that. I mean, maybe, like, you know, we could find a boss trap room that has it in it because it's, it's Chaos Pool. Or we could pop down skin and skin gives us wafer. I mean, you never know. You never know. More black cards, maybe? And I would, I would consider it some more. I want to at least have three hearts going down to our womb floor. And if we can't secure that, there's no way in hell I'm going to uh, pop magic skin anymore. Because we're already at six, you know, broken hearts. I'd rather not. Carry it. Not looking super good for that restock machine in there. Okay. Nothing up there. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, probably not going to pop that machine. I really don't see a need to. We, we can get... Like, it's already chaos items. It's, this run's already chaotic enough. Buy the sack. Sure. Bomb the hell out of this fool. Extra devil deal chance. I, I think you just move on. I think you just move on. Good fly blocking there. On your little tick man. Shoot me, thank you. Take it in there with it. There we go. Thank you, Sci-Fly, for that as well. Let's just go fight and see what happens. I think we have good enough health, you know, to win this run. The homing definitely makes... Um, it, it probably, honestly... We, we didn't not pop any pills, did we? We did. We got a fucking pill on the ground. Oh, I forgot we had bad PHD, honestly. Oops. I forgot entirely. Um, Homing is like having a... 50% increase in DPS. All, them, all your shots will now hit something, pretty much. You can you can think, at least. You can try to make that. But look at us now. Like, our DPS, it's not really that good. It's really not that good. And I kind of hope this devil deal uh, gives us something or other to work with. Just anything. Fly is my main source of focusing on mother because there we go. Woo, Boneheart's huge. Uh, Boneheart is so huge, in fact. <sighs> yeah, let's get fucky with it, huh? That work. I'm not, I'm not like, you know, making it up that we only have the same amount of tears coming out, right? That is times two tears, right? I'm going to feel awful if it's not, for not knowing that. It looks like more tears, but I know there's certain situations in which, um, well, we can get our pill now. There's certain situations in which it doesn't give you any more tears when your tier rate is just, just like way too high okay well now there's a case now that i realize we have bad phd once again uh i'd like to afford mom's bottle of pills but we can't so again i look for your super good play that is exactly what i wanted to see I think you just go back and you spend your money on bottle of pills. That could be a black card or a damage up for you. You'd buy either of those from your shop at this point. Damage up. All right. Good. You made the most. Of you made this floor your bitch, and I could not be prouder, BD1P. I could not be prouder. Let's move on down. Ah, oh, scary fucking run. Scary run. I think we're gonna be okay. Dice room is interesting. So how much damage do we do? Well. Without walking into enemies. Uh, because I feel like the Wiz 
wasn't the best pick. I'm, I'm going to always defend taking the Wiz because it's funky. And I, I'm a big fan of funky. But was it really that much more DPS for us? I think the answer is no. I don't think it gave us any more tiers. I think it just split our tiers between two eyes. Which is significantly worse. Yeah, no, it's definitely worse. Oh, well. We'll make this run still work for us. We gotta cool it on the broken hearts, though. Little bit too ham on that. Forget me now. Okay. Emperor card as well. Okay. I think we will definitely forget me now. For sure. There's no reason not to. Extra devil deal, maybe? Extra boss items? I'm convincing myself pretty hard right now. How did that... Oh, I didn't get a bomb down fast enough. Okay. Double bombed up. Lovely. We'll definitely be doing our forget me now on this floor. Because the wound floors are hard. But they're really easy with tinted rocks and, and deals and boss items. To gain a lot of HP back so you're not stuck in an endless loop of just being at one heart for the entirety of your run. I mean, I don't know. It is doing decent boss damage comparatively to our last run. Why did my screen get so much brighter there? What the hell? That was really disorienting for a minute. Could have gotten hit because of that admin fixed your goddamn game. Not to my liking anymore. We're, we're doing decent boss. We gotta stand relatively close. We're doing decent boss damage. That's so good, though. Lazrags is huge for us. Those, however, are not. We'll go back and we'll do our five. The forget-me-now floors will carry on. There is a chance we can get two fives in a row here, which will be kind of cool to see. Doesn't happen super often. We'll give it a shot. And me, bitch. We're on an XL floor now, so we pretty much got the best of both worlds. I am not going to pop Emperor until the Cathedral. Depending on our boss room placement there, because the boss rooms on XL floors are usually pretty close to your starting because the floor is, you know, generating super weirdly. And also because these are easier floors, as I said a minute ago, than the other uh, cathedral will be. And we already are at our boss fight uh, within one room now, which is going to be helpful. We get an extra boss item here. A small devil deal chance, but it should still pay out. It's Mr. Fred for our fight. This room looks so strange. I don't know if I've ever seen this room before in all of my hours of playing Isaac. I love these patch drops that just add new rooms for no reason. They're actually very nice. A lot of uh, new stuff into the game makes it feel better. All right, Freddy boy. Get out. You're flying there. That is where most of your damage will come from. Keep your side fly out. Good. Fly in there again. Do, do some fly circling. There we go. Okay, chub. Mom's heart time. Might be a bit of a harder mom's heart fight due to our current uh, DPS situation. We're, we're, doing, we're doing fine so far. All right, fly, get in there. Sci-Fly, do your worst, man. I'm relying on you to do most of my work right now. Sci-Fly got nerfed, though. It sucks. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. It's actually still so good. It's carving a clear-cut path for us right now. All right. Pick it up. Brimstone comes next. We won't ever see that phase. We are going to the cathedral. Well alive. And it is a free emperor right now. Unless the boss room is suspiciously close to our starting room. Um, yeah, I'm not walking all the way around. You can fuck miss you with that shit. <laughs> I was like, one room away? Really? There could have been a secret room there, I guess, but no, it can't because the boss fight's like literally right here. Also, if we're standing far away from the boss, we can't hit any tiers. We got to be like right up in center with it. But with the boss this small. Ow. Okay, good. You managed that pretty well. There's some pyromaniac bombs in there. If we're doing enough damage to get him down to his next attack without having to, like, fight up more of his tier attack, which is nice. Thanks to our bombs, primarily, I think. We are going to live this. We are going to live this. 
Good bomb damage there. Last one, I think. Maybe one more. Cool, okay. Chest, please no curses. Please HP. It's chaos. It could be anything in these chests right now. Our boss fight is... Oh, fuck. Okay. Good. Good. Oh, we're conjoined now, aren't we? Or no, we're ma... No, we're conjoined. Are we? What did we get there for transformation? I don't even know. All right. Wow, the wrong way, huh? Thank you for that one, Edmund. Well, down, at least we know down is the right way. Now we only got to choose one wrong direction to know where we're going for our boss fight. Unless for some reason this floor is really strange. I would like to see another bomb item here, please. Mr. Mega, maybe? This takes forever to do anything. Clear your center out. This is gonna, I'm going to focus a bit harder on this floor. Because we do only have three hearts. That's not cool. Okay, you want to kill Gluttony last for more magic skin pops. <laughs> do that. Gluttony, live. No red heart containers, huh? Good. Stand next to Pride, not diagonal from him. Careful. He could give you. Fuck. Uh, he could give you. Not nine lives, I guess. All right. It, oh, dude. The wrong way again. Somehow it's even further away than this. It's down, huh? That pisses me off. If we're like level with it right now, it should have been this way. I bet that five room fucked the generation up at this run. Unless... Yeah, no. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. I can't even shoot my own bombs because I have homing tears and it's split. Good. Good item. All my flies are friendly. Suck my dick, monstro. Can't touch me. Rough run today. Very rough run. 8 tier 8. <sighs> 1 damage. Almost 2 though. Don't get it twisted. We made some poor choices this run. We did. That's on me. That is on me. We get a tinted rock here if we live this. And kill the right guy first. <sighs> We're going to hopefully have two hearts going into fight blue baby. Why is Rag... He's giving us trouble as Rag Mega, which is really embarrassing. Played like shit this run, honestly. Okay, Tears Up is very nice. We are killing things pretty fast. We can get hit twice in this boss fight before we die for good. Not a good thing to hear. Find. Good find. Lemon party. Why do we have? Oh, because we have luck foot bad PhD, huh? Go back for your half heart first. I think we have this win in the bag. 
Let's hope for it. Back up. Just play, play as passive as possible right now. That's how you win these. Broken modem, buster bombs, pyro. I mean, for yesterday's run being uh, as crazy as it was, I'm fine having a tougher run to balance out the, the universal karma here. It's just a little bit scary. Oh, they orbit him and they hurt him. We win. No portal? I'm not doing it. Balls of steel. Health up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing it. We uh have what? We have a lot of broken hearts right now. In fact, we have 10 broken hearts to end this run off with. <sighs> if you enjoyed that run, a like and a comment goes a long way. Magic Skin Chaos did not work out for us. It might have been a bad choice. We didn't get to control what item pool the item came from, but we learned our lesson and won the run 165 in a row. Thank you all for watching. Sub and like and whatever. Peace out. Adios. Goodbye.